Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Roses. I'm Todd. And I'm Carla. And today, we're gonna find out what's inside the belly of the beast. We're gonna take the bottom off the camper and let's see how this thing's built. Should be a lot of fun. Yeah, we have no idea what we're gonna find. And pretty interesting. So, yeah. let's go, let's get into it. Okay, before we get started, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you the bottom of the camper. It's basically a big giant panel underneath with a whole bunch of screws. And uh, so I'm gonna show you that and then Carl and I are gonna get busy taking all the screws out and then we'll dive inside and let's take a look. Okay, we're climbing down underneath the camper here. Carl is there, she's ready to go. She's got her screw gun ready. As you can see here, there's a panel and it has just a whole bunch of screws all the way around it. And uh, so that whole panel will drop off and uh, should have access to the tanks and see what the frame is and, and that sort of thing. Uh, our Northern Light was not like that. It was one solid piece. Uh, so uh, I can go into mo more about that, but I think actually having this access panel is a big advantage in case you need to get underneath the camper to the tanks and wires and plumbing or anything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and get started pulling these screws off and uh, Let's find out what's inside. Some of them are at an angle, a little tricky to get at, but most of them are pretty straight. It's because of the way the fiberglass body is, I think. So, it's got the square headed screws, stainless screws. There you go. Yeah, you just gotta get it in the line. <laughs> Missed one up front. You can climb on out there, Carla. Just let half of it hang down here. Let's get a quick peek. There's a screw right there. Is that your screw? It's stuck on the tape. Okay. Let's take a look. So I got a, the panel, and then there's some one inch foam panels that uh, insulate the bottom of it. There's a steel brace. And uh, so that's a quick peek. Looks like there's tape that was holding up this. Yeah. Here. Yeah, we'll probably have to kind of tape it back in place while I put the panel back up. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, that's it. Got all the screws out. Let's drop the panel. See what's inside. So, so we know that this big panel went up here. And we're gonna have to put it all back together and put that up in there. They use tape to just to try to hold hold it together. Cause look, there's another piece right there. Yeah. A dead dead bug that got in there. Oops. All right. Pull it all out. This will give us a good chance to clean off this panel too. Yeah. Get some cleaner. Clean it up. It's always good. orientation correct so we can put it back in the right way and uh, we're gonna clean off that panel before we put it all back together all right we're gonna climb under and take a look closer look examine this camper so this is, this is pretty cool got access to everything yeah. I mean that's one of the tanks right there I'm not sure which one I have to figure that out I think that's the fresh this is the fresh water yeah. tank here I think that's the gray tank there, I believe. Yeah, probably. And uh, um, I don't know. We'll actually, have to, that might be the black. Might, I don't know, or might be the black, or maybe the black and gray are combined into one, though it's like a separation. I don't know. I found the black tank underneath the dinette seat. It's under the seat along with the furnace. You can see it there. You can see the tank level monitoring system on there. So it's accessible to get to, along with the, uh, you can see the, the drain coming out down there. So it's at the floor height of the camper underneath the dinette. Let's keep going. Let's look at the framing on this though. 
man, that's cool. That's got a metal beam going across there. Yeah. And it connects to each side. And it's like welded, it's welded there. Yeah, it's kind of like a T-weld there. There's a some wood blocks to support the tanks. The gray tank's got a strap, actually gray. All of them have a strap on them. Yeah. This one has a strap too. Yeah. And it's cool how the fiberglass is actually, uh, it's fibered up onto the wood structure as well. So um, you can see here, let's see, flip the camera around here, that it actually goes up this onto the wood here. So this body, is all tied in with, in with the wood. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully I got that on camera. I don't want you to get that in your eye. We probably should have glasses over this podcast. Yeah. So there's some, there's some more. There's some of the plumbing, the cold water line. And this is as well, this is fiberglass is mm -hmm. uh, fibered up over this, this wood. Yeah. So. Everything's really structured together. There actually is another panel right there. I'm not gonna bother pulling that one off at the moment, but okay. uh, you can see there's the duct work up there. That actually goes to the bottom of the shower, it looks like, or this. And that's actually. No, the shower's over here. I think that, that right there, I believe, goes to, I think, to uh, one of the, the valves. Oh, okay. Because uh, one of them has a cable. Has a cable valve over to it. So let's look up front. Let's get a better look up here. So this is similar up here. Another metal beam to really help support this camper. I think that's great. Having that tied in with the with the wood structure. And then you got this. Over yeah, you got some, some more supporting the, the tank there. And uh, there's the floor. Dang, no wonder the floor feels so solid. Look how thick it is. Looks like- Well, two, it's almost two inches. Yeah. It's like, uh, looks like maybe like two, three quarter inch plies with another ply in the middle. Yeah. See if, get that, it's really thick. That's the plumbing for the, that's the bottom of the shower right there. That's the shower drain. And this, this over here, is the freshwater tank, as I said, and that is the the leveling monitors for, I guess one one third, uh, or what? Yeah, one third, two thirds, two thirds, and or no, this is yeah, whatever it is. Half. Yeah, half. And I think it goes up to two thirds. I think is what it says on there. So uh, we're hoping to put the uh, sea level. Um, tank monitoring system on here, the digital style. So that's good to know uh, that we can get to it. That's that's one of the reasons we wanted to pull the bottom off is not only to see how the camper was built, but to see if we can get to the tanks in order to put the uh, sea level monitoring system on. And it's gonna be really easy because we can get right to them. So yeah. that'll be really cool. We may put it on before you even put the panel back on. I mean, this wall right here, it's thick, golly. I mean, it's really solid. Here's our, some of the ductwork comes out to help heat the basement here. See how that? Right on the pipe. See where that corner is all fiberglassed up to keep it good and strong. Actually, a couple more pieces right here. Oh, yeah, so, but now we know, I mean, look at that, I mean, that whole panel there, that goes, oops, that whole panel there, that goes up the front of the camper, and then, I guess we don't have to pull that piece out, but, um, so I guess the, the bumpers, there we go. So the bumpers go up to this wood. So that's uh, that's good to know. It's got a 
full wood all the way behind it. Mm -hmm. That's where we can see from below the step, remember? Mm -hmm. Right there, when you open the step, this yeah. is actually where that spot is. One thing I want to point out, like I, I've noticed this in in uh, another portion of the camper with the, I think in the, not in the basement, the basement's all sealed up by fiberglass, but um, I like how the floor has a, uh, you know, just a uh, yeah, water resistant membrane over it to keep any moisture out. I mean, that's really smart to- And then on top of that, it's got the vinyl. Yeah, the vinyl there. floor is on all the way on top of that, so. So that floor is very impressive. It's uh, very thick and uh, it, it feels really solid when you're walking around on it. So, um, you know, with the membrane on there and, and the vinyl on top, you know, it, it's good. Yep. You might go over to that corner over here. All right, let's go over here to this corner over here and see what we can see. This back corner underneath this small panel, uh, it does look like it goes to the black. the the black drain up there, so I think Which that valve is up, is up in there. Which you can see goes below. And uh, yeah, so that's just goes to the access to the to the drains, yeah. drain valves. So that's a good thing to be able to get to the the drain valves mm -hmm. in case you ever need to if they're leaking or anything like that. So uh, very cool. One thing I want to do is let's go back to the front. Let's measure the thickness. Let's go measure the thickness of the fiberglass. Okay. That should be interesting. Got my old caliper here. Oh, hand me down from my grandfather actually. But uh, let's measure this. It's not exactly the same. It looks pretty close to the same. Let's see how thick this is. Right here. It is quarter inch around this edge. Yep, that's quarter inch. This might be a little bit less than quarter inch. It is, no, it's quarter inch. So, so that's pretty cool, it's pretty thick. That here is it's a little bit less than, than a quarter inch. So, you know, fiberglass is not perfect because it's sprayed on, it's a sprayed mat, so. Uh, but it's pretty close to the same. Yeah, that's quarter inch. Fiberglass is nice and thick. I'm impressed. It's very well built. because I like the, having the, the metal beams in there for that extra support and uh, I like how the fiberglass goes up the wood to help not only structurally, but it also helps seal the wood in case any moisture was down here, if any tank leaked or anything like that, um, that would help protect the, the wood. Uh, there are some drain holes on the, on the corners of the uh, camper, you know, in case the water did get down here, it could help drain out, you know. And also on the fiberglass paint, panel that's over the bottom there's some holes in I wanted to show you where the little drain holes are in each corner there's there's one there and then there's one down here there's one down there so if something leaked at least the water could get out and uh, so that's a good thing yeah that's a real good thing this is great having access to the bottom of the camper very cool it's interesting to see what uh, how this thing is built and uh, so far, I'm pretty impressed. I like it. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with what I see. I like being able to have access to the bottom of the camper. Um, we can get into that here in just a moment. I have a, a brief little story about that. Um, so let me crawl back out from underneath this camper and uh, let's talk about that briefly. So what I wanted to tell you about having access to the bottom of the camper, how important it is, at least to us, because uh, we've had an experience where we did not have access to the bottom of the camper. 
So if any of you have seen our old videos with our uh, first Northern Light, on the Northern Lights, they're completely sealed underneath with no access panel, which at first I thought was probably great because it's all sealed up, nothing could get in, right? However, if there's a problem, you got a real problem. It's hard to get to it. So yeah. we had to uh, pull off the rear basement door and literally crawl in on our belly and lay, I had to lay on the belly and with my work with my hands over my head, look it up to try to fix whatever it is working on. So having access to the bottom of the camper is, it's fantastic. Yeah, it is. I mean, I mean, Carla, I got some photos of Carla crawling in, in the basement. To right there. clean it, we had to clean it out after he fixed the, the water damage. Yeah. We, we wanted to clean everything out and, at, you know, before we, finished it yeah. out so i mean it's doable you can crawl into to the basement of the northern light if you need to and i'm not down in the northern light there's i'm not saying it's right or wrong it's just different so and 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 honestly it in some ways you think in your mind oh well it's sealed from the outside so it's sealed from the elements that's a good thing but yeah in some ways it is and in some ways it isn't yeah if you got to do any work in there then it's just it's terribly difficult uh, from our experience that yeah. that's that's just us so and i'm a big guy and uh so for me to crawl in that basement is difficult maybe if you're a small person it'd be a whole lot easier so i'm not saying you know one's better than the other really but for for me for us uh, for me to be able to work underneath the camper if we need to maybe put those uh tank leveling uh tank monitoring uh system in there this would be way easier on on and this we, camper. And we didn't do anything on the, the Lance, but I think the Lance actually had a panel you could take off as well. It did, it had yeah. a panel. We, we never took it off, we probably yeah. should have. Well, it was but, it was new yeah. and you know, we, at that time we were, really weren't looking yeah. to do I mean, it had a side. panel with a whole bunch of screws, basically just like this. Just like this. Uh, it did have insulation across the top, basically just like this. Uh, I know that because the drawer that was at the step, that you could pull that all the way out and it could see the top of the bottom of the camper basically mm -hmm. so um, kind of knew what that was without having to pull the whole bottom off mm -hmm. but uh, so now we know what's under the inside the belly of the beast here and kind of know how this thing's built so uh, that's pretty cool I yeah mean, it's built well you know it's built very well i think uh which that's what they're that's what you know we're not shocked or anything yeah. that's what bigfoots are known for yeah. so we kind of knew that going in that's but. right they're known for being built very well very structurally sound uh they may be a little bit heavier because of that mm -hmm. but they're built to last for decades so uh i'm i'm pretty happy about that so it's cool it's just cool to see so now i know how that uh, uh I can get to the tanks, and which we'll probably be doing. Uh, we want to order that sea level tank monitoring system, the digital one, and uh, we can get it in. I'll have to do, run some wire up uh, to the panel, probably on the inside of the camper, to put the actual monitor in there. And, and uh, somehow I think those tank thing just sticks to the side of the tank. Like the ones that are currently in there. Yeah, kind of like that. It's just yeah. a, a longer one. I think it covers the whole side, okay. the whole side of the tank, so it monitors it all the way up. So. Kind of excited about that. That should be pretty cool yeah. when we get around to it here. Yeah. Uh, so we're not going to bore you with putting everything back. Uh, we're just going to get it all cleaned up, put it all back together. Um, so now you know kind of how that works. And uh, hopefully it helps somebody. You know, if you want to know what that looks like before you buy one, yeah. You at least you know have an idea that you can open it to get into it to yeah. do anything if you ever need to. So. Or if you have one and you're kind of scared to drop the bottom on it. You know, so now you know it's not that not a big deal. It's just a panel with some insulation panels on top of that. Or if you want to uh, go go buy one, then you can you know before you buy it, say, well, I want to look inside it. Just, you know, make sure everything's okay. Yeah, I'm mean, good. So yeah. I mean, it's it's evil, easily serviceable. So that's what I I like about it. Yeah. So very cool. Well, that's gonna be about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully it'll help somebody. And uh, please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time on Runaway Roses. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.